wow again i talked for way too long about that book here i am ranting as always about books that aren't even the one i'm holding hello welcome back to my channel things are a little different now because i recently moved apartments so i'm not sure how long this is going to be here but i i'm on the floor in my bedroom at the moment because this is where I put my books. Temporarily, I did get like two totally new shelves that are much more, I think they're gonna be much more aesthetically pleasing. Anyways, so that's why you can see my bed in the corner here. I'm trying, I was trying to get out of the shot. It's not possible. Basically, I was, I really liked, I was doing just like five quick little reviews for books that I read recently. So I'm just gonna continue with that. Basically just let you know what I read, how I felt about it, all that good stuff. So in my last recent reads, which I'm gonna link up the whole playlist over there so you can check it out if you want. But in my last recent reads, I left off talking about Heartstopper Volume 4. Amazing, beautiful, perfect. Perfect. I need to read more by Alice Oseman. Just putting it out there. And in the last video, I literally ended it by just saying, like, don't even just click off the video, read Heartstopper. Still stand by that. Don't even just go read Heartstopper. All right. If you're still here somehow, then, oh, I have such a big forehead. All right. After that last recent reads, I made a full entire ranking of all the Percy Jackson books because I had read all the Percy Jackson books. So I will also link that up above and down below if you want to check that out. Just going over my thoughts of that series, which I think I have some fairly unpopular opinions as far as which books I enjoyed more than others about Percy Jackson. I know it's a very popular series, so feel free to check it out. But in that video, I did not discuss the next book I read after that, which was The Lost Hero. Hello, it's me with the same background that you saw. Not me in the future inserting a clip of myself to tell you what this specific book is about because I assumed that you watch as much booktube as I do and thought you would just automatically know what book I'm talking about. It's the, it's the same outfit. Can you tell? It's the same It's the same background. So The Lost Hero is a book that takes place in the Percy Jackson world and it follows a completely different set of characters that are at a different camp. I don't want to spoil things because I didn't know much going in. That's how I like to go into my books. I don't like to know too much. It's another camp with half god, half mortal children. That's all you need to know, really. Which I only gave three stars because I... So I did not give The Lost Hero a high rating. I mean, three stars is like, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I read it. You know, I do want to continue on with the series and all that stuff because I feel like a big part of why I didn't super love it was because Percy wasn't like as involved in the books. And obviously, if you've read it, you know the way that book one ends in the series, then um, the future books are more exciting. So, and the future books definitely seem to be more exciting. But what can I say? Basically, you're just following a whole new set of characters that have nothing to do with Percy in this first book. And I really like, oh, what was his name? L Leo. I loved Leo, but I do remember their names though. I feel like if I can remember the characters' names that says something. I want to say it was Leo and Piper and I can't remember the third person's name, but I remember li liking I remember liking Leo and I was pretty neutral on Piper, but I do want to read it. I want to continue like on the Rick Riordan train and everything, but there are just so many other books that I also want to read, but I would just you know, it's nice to just read in like one universe. Like I, if you've watched any of my videos, you know how I feel about Cassandra Clare. I love all Cassandra Clare. But so that's how I felt about The Lost Hero. There it is. Next. Okay. And then after that, I read, I decided for whatever reason to pick up A Darker Shade of Magic, which this is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. So this is set where there are four parallel Londons and there's an Antari, Kel, who can travel between all the different Londons. And there's like elemental magic and obviously traveling between worlds type of magic. And there's Black London, Red London, White London, and Grey London. And they all have different various levels of magic. So that's what A Darker Shade of Magic is about, which is followed by A Gathering of Shadows, the second book in that series. So I'm about to just talk about both of them. Once again, assuming that you watch hours and hours of booktube like me, aka you're a loser, but that's okay because I'm a loser and I hope that there's losers watching. I bought this a while ago and never actually like started it, but then I like I did, I read like the first 40, 50 pages. I put this in my five star predictions video. I'll link that as well. Um, I put that in, I put this in that video because I was expecting to obviously love it. I gave this one a four star. I have a spoiler free review that's now up if you want to check that out. And then I should, by the time you see this, there should also be a spoiler filled review posted. So you can check out that on my channel to kind of, you know, if you've read it, you can check that out. If you haven't read it, you can check out the spoiler free. I want to do that more on my channel, by the way, just so that I can appeal to like people who have read or people who have not read and then 
and you can, you know, I think it's, I think it's a good way to like let you know my thoughts one way or other, whether you have or haven't read it. So here I have a full video dedicated to this book specifically. So I will link that above. You can check those out if you're interested. If not, sorry, because the next book I read was the sequel, A Gathering of Shadows, which I gave three stars to. Didn't like it as much as the first book, like at all, but I still liked it enough. I really appreciated new characters being introduced. I did enjoy a certain romance introduced in here a lot. So that was enjoyable. I'm like in the middle of the third book, still haven't finished it. I don't know why. I, I just, I don't know. It's like, I'm not connecting. I really thought that V.E. Schwab was gonna be my girl like I thought she was gonna be like a top top favorite author for me but I I don't know I don't know I don't know and I feel I follow some people who have similar sentiment so like they're not in love with any of her books I don't know she's an she's an interesting author because I feel like I hear some people love her YA stuff but don't like her adult stuff and then I have some people who are like I only want to read her adult stuff I don't like any of her YA stuff and somebody that I follow said that they couldn't connect to any single book YA or adult by V.E. Schwab except for The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue which also was in my five star predictions but now it's kind of like less of a five star prediction based off of this but so I don't know man V.E. Schwab is an interesting one I might make like a whole once I like I want to read I definitely want to read This Savage Song and I definitely want to read The Archived. I want to read both of those like series also. And if I finish the third book here, am I going to want to, because I know she's going to continue the series. I don't know. We'll have to see. But for this, let's get back to this book. Here I am ranting as always about books that aren't even the one I'm holding. So this one, there's a whole, I just, I'm shocked that people rate this as their favorite because even though, like I said, I've only halfway to the third book and I haven't like wanted to pick it up, I still feel like as a book, the third one is more enjoyable than the second book. I don't know. So if I can finish the third book, maybe I'm going to do a whole series review for this just just because I clearly have thoughts, you know, about a lot of the characters, but that's how I feel about the second book. Hopefully I cut this down because that just was a lot that didn't need to be said. So just check out my other video if you're interested because some people probably don't even care. Who knows? So that is the, the third book I'm going to let you know about so far. And then after that, I decided to get the audiobook for Wolf Song by TJ Klune. Wolf Song is a paranormal werewolf gay romance book. So this is a story about a bunch of werewolves and a pack and these two boys that fall in love. That's all you really need to know if, you, if you're if you going to pick it up or not. I mean, that's all that I needed to know personally. Which is not my first TJ Klune. I did already discuss The House in the Cerulean Sea, which has become a whole topic, but we're not, I'm not going to get into it here. But I loved The House in the Cerulean Sea when I read it, knowing what I knew at the time. Loved it, adored it, five stars, amazing. I read like one of my favorite quotes from it in another recent reads video. So I absolutely adored The House in the Cerulean Sea. So I wanted to read more by TJ Clune. I still want to read more. I read all of Wolf Song. I gave it four stars. It's long. Like it, it takes, what else can I say? That's my biggest complaint is that the story is just so long and I feel, but like a lot of people seem to appreciate that and they feel like that builds like the believability of the romance even more. Also this book I did not expect to be as x-rated as it was so just go into that knowing it's gonna be x-rated. Most people say that the first book is their favorite and I so I've already read that one. I'm not sure I want to continue this series but I definitely want to read so many other things by TJ Klune. Obviously I'm loving his like I got an arc for Under the Whispering Door which is so good. <laughs> it's so good. I need to finish it because it comes out like next month so I need to finish that one and then so I do want to read more by TJ Klune but I'm not sure I'm going to continue this series I don't know if you've read it let me know if you think it's worth it because I liked the first book but if everyone's saying it's their favorite in the series then I'm not sure it's really worth continuing plus I feel like some people said the final book was a little cheesy but part of me is like okay with that I don't mind a cheesy ending I don't know plus like I know I could easily get the next few books but there's just so many other things I want to read so it's just like you know I don't know but like I said if you read it let me know what you thought if you continued it whatever what else can I say about the actual book I can't I can't remember the characters names which is so it's sad because like it's a werewolf paranormal romance which I really thought was gonna be like it for me. I thought it was gonna be like the one that did it, but no. I mean, I still gave it four stars. It was enjoyable. It just felt like, but then again, I'm pretty sure I cried. So it's like, I don't know. Talking about your experience with books is just difficult sometimes. I truly, I can't remember the characters' names. 
but I just feel like that one chapter where they like get into it, you know, like that was really good. And it was clearly written by a person who has experience with man on man action. Like in real life, he clearly knows, like I can know he's a gay author. So it was enjoyable to read, but it was, I don't know, man. It's almost like the length of it, it was almost like trying too hard to develop it, to make it believable when I was kind of already sold on it. And I just kind of wanted it to like get there. And there definitely was a lot of plot in the book, but, and there was a lot of interesting lore with Gordo. I remember Gordo, but I can't remember. I can't even remember the main character's name. That shocks me. Why do I want to say somebody's name was like Wolfie? You know what his name was Wolfie? I need to know. I need to know for this video. Who the fuck? What were their names? Mm, I want to tell you why I don't want to continue the series, but sometimes things just don't hit you the way you expect them to. I feel bad because I know so many people love this series. Like, I, it's all over Bookstagram. Or the people that I follow, at least on Bookstagram, are like all about it. And like, I do love TJ Klune. So like I, like I said, I will be reading his other stuff. But like, I'm really interested in The Extraordinaries. Like, that's actually the book I'm probably the most excited for because I don't know, it just something about it like appeals to me on a level more than gay werewolves but I thought gay werewolves would be my thing like I was like <laughs> I used to watch Teen Wolf like I loved it I was trash for Teen Wolf but I guess I just didn't love it in book format or I didn't like it as I don't know man now I'm like wondering if I if four stars was too high of a rating for how I'm feeling about it and what I'm saying in here maybe I don't know so wow again I talked for way too long about that book that's the, my general thoughts on it. So it is what it is. All right, and then the final book I'm going to talk about in this video is a graphic novel that I got through the library because uh, oh, the library is amazing. Okay, I would I wouldn't have read over half the books I've read this year without the library. Like it phenomenal. If you're not using the Libby app, then like you need to you need to change that. It's life changing. But you can read graphic novels. Like also, if you don't know, like you can do the audio books, you can do the ebooks, you can read graphic novels. So I'm pretty sure I was reading it on my iPad or my phone or something. And okay, and then this last one I did kind of explain. It's very short, so there's not a whole lot to say, but it is a horror graphic novel. And it's, I mean, it's called Through the Woods. So like, it's that, like, I feel like that kind of tells, like, it's that kind of story. And it's a graphic novel. So there's not a whole lot of like, worries on the page, but it was good, as you're about to see me say. So this is a graphic novel. It's like a horror graphic novel. I remember seeing this forever ago. I had like Googled like books that are like the show Once Upon a Time. And this was on that list. And I mean, I wouldn't say this is anything like Once Upon a Time, except for the whole like, it's like Once Upon a Time, with horror like it's a horror graphic novel but it was pretty it was pretty chilling don't want to spoil the ending but the ending is very like just it just it's gonna give you the 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 chills down your spine which is something i really really enjoy in books like it's not something i was never into horror movies but which is so interesting to think about the fact that like these mediums of well no because i love the show supernatural which like but it, it doesn't give me chills down my spine but if i'm gonna read something like reading something that gives you chills down your spine by the way by the way yeah i have so many videos about this series okay it's my favorite reading something that gives me chills down my spine is one of my favorite experiences in life i experienced that with through the woods so obviously i really liked it okay so those are all the books i'm gonna talk about in this video probably gonna see me wearing the same shirt like next week i'll leave my instagram goodreads twitter all that'll be in the description i'd love it if you would follow me on there message me on there let me know what you thought about any of these books i mentioned i'd love to chat with you about books have a great day bye mm -hmm.